Okay, we're live in the library bar at the Gilded Balloon. Day three here of our coverage, and Keith Jack is here. Keith, good Hello. afternoon. Good afternoon. It's great to see you again. It's good to see you. Where have you been all this time, apart from in the gym, <laughs> might I say, <laughs> obviously. You've been in the gym as well, Thank though. you very much. We could we could talk about workouts for the next <laughs> 10 minutes, but I suspect we should move on to all the things you've been doing. Now, obviously, if we go back far enough, we go back to any dream we'll do when you were a runner-up. The first time I met you was the morning after the night after you'd won. Oh. And you were absolutely exhausted. I think you yep. said about three words in that studio because you were trying, literally trying to stay awake. It was like the worst case of jet lag I'd ever seen. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Point. Did it look that bad? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you really did. <laughs> it, was, it was a weird time, that, just because uh, they asked if I wanted to fly home and I was like, no, I want to drive. So my dad drove me all the way home. I think mm. it was the worst idea I ever did. <laughs> Eight hours up the road and, yeah, it was just a long, long day. Yeah. And then coming in in the morning, yeah. I think I did a whole radio tour that morning. I was lit, like you say, I was dying. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you were you were in our studios, so um, so we got to see you face to face. I think the other interviews you might have done for people that don't know might have been what we call down the line. Yeah, so yeah. you wouldn't have seen the person you were speaking to, and they wouldn't have seen just how <laughs> tired you actually were. Tell <laughs> it better today. Yeah, I'm I'm uh, delighted to the bags uh, have, have definitely <laughs> left your eyes, <laughs> good, uh, good. Keith, which is good news. Now, since then, of course, you, you've you've done a you've done a great deal. I mean, one of the biggest roles, I guess, was Joseph and the amazing Technicolor Dream Show, uh, Dream Coat, which did for two years. Yeah, yeah, I did. The, the narrator for six months yes uh straight after the program yes. and then i went back two years later and did joseph yeah and i just finished that a couple of months ago and and since then we we move on to 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 various different uh, productions and, and collaborations but we move now to the edinburgh festival the queen dome at the pleasance and sincerely mr toad now have you been on at the festival before i have i was here in 2008 uh -huh. doing a new musical called only the brave right uh which well, had like a 12-piece orchestra i think it was the biggest production ever at edinburgh uh and that went down an absolute storm and yeah I'm back now it's a few years on yeah. so you're from dal keith of course yeah is this a homecoming then for you in a sense yeah it's good because i don't really get home that much yeah. uh, i think the last time i was home was a uh, new year for one day mm -hmm. and then that's been it so to come back and kind of stay i'm staying at my family's as well come back for a month is quite nice and get mm -hmm. to spend time with them and see friends and stuff get the washing done and exactly <laughs> get get I, go, I get up in the morning there's food there <laughs> do i mean i don't have to go shopping it's great so when are you back down then after the after the festival I guess. uh yeah we go we do a little tour actually with this first as well we go to uh greenick we go to dunfermline we go to the brunton theater in musselburgh and musselburgh and then we go back to london for a, okay. a, a week well we'll get into the nuts and bolts of the show in just a few minutes time keith jack is here Gilded Balloon, Library Bar, day three, and I'm in conversation with Keith Jack, who is in Sincerely, Mr. Toad, part of the festival at the Queen Dome at the Pleasance, and it runs until the end of the month. And as we were saying a few minutes ago, this, this continues to a few other places, and we'll, we'll touch on that in a second. But uh, for anyone who's unfamiliar with Sincerely, Mr. Toad, do tell us about your latest role, Keith. Right. Uh, Sincerely, Mr. Toad is about the life of Kenneth Graham, who wrote uh, the book Wind in the Willows. And it's about his struggle through life with his relationship with his wife, Elspeth, his son, Alistair, who's the part that I play, and how this amazing book uh, that everyone knows, this iconic book, mm. all the heartache that came from behind it. Uh, it was said that Kenneth kind of lost his mind at one point when he was writing his book, that every person he met became a character in his book. And even his son actually inspired the character of Mr. Toad. And uh, it said that the bank, his bank manager at the time, uh, inspired the character of the badger. Mm -hmm. So all this started to come to life and it was actually a point in Kenneth's life where he thought everything around him was a, was an animal. Every person he met he thought was he seen a, a creature come alive. And it's about that and his relationship with his son who isn't very bright. He thinks his son's going to be this genius. Uh, and he isn't very bright. He goes to Oxford, starts failing all his exams mm. and writes to his dad saying, I, I need your help. And for the first time in his life, his dad doesn't listen. He gets bullied a lot at Oxford. He goes through a really hard time. And he, he kind of gets to the point where he tries to go off to war. And they won't accept him to war because he's blind in one eye as well. And uh, stuff kind of happens from there. It's quite sad. How strange that this this cute, whimsical children's tale should come from a, a very dark set of, of circumstances. Exactly. I think a lot of people would be surprised to learn that. Exactly. And it, it's, I'm surprised it's never been done as a, a film or anything mm. before, but I actually just heard a couple of weeks ago that they're doing a Hollywood film version of it. Uh, it is an amazing, amazing story. Mm -hmm. And there's books telling you about uh, the letters that Kenneth used to send to his son. So his son used to scribble and scribble every week saying dad i need your help I'm, I'm struggling and his dad used to write back that mr toad was doing great and he would take words from the letters that uh, alistair used to write and start coming up with this amazing this amazing story mm. and he'd write back to his son telling him about this story 
and it just kind of built up and built up uh, with the relationship. And is this a purely dramatic role for you then, as opposed to, to the musical roles that you, you've had in the past? Yeah, it is, and it's it's quite a it's quite a dark role. Like I, I do have a kind of love interest in this show as well, uh, called Beth. So there's quite like a lightheartedness to it along the way. But you kind of see him going from this, uh, the character going from this love with his father and s staying up late at night telling stories and making up all these amazing adventures. And suddenly that slowly disappears and he, he's trying to do all these things in his life and he can't. And he has this fascination from a very young age of lying in the middle of a road. And things like that start mm. to progress in his life. And yeah, I mean, quite a sad piece as well. You told me a few minutes ago when the microphones were switched off that one of your your friends, I won't use the description that you used of her, <laughs> but she's, she's, quite, she's quite tough, shall yeah, we say. Yes, she's very tough. She's quite tough. She's not a soft character. No. Um, she, she cried at this. Yeah, she cried. She, she came out to me after the show and said she's never cried so much uh -huh. uh, at a musical or anything. So yeah, it's quite a... Uh, it touches at everyone, and the music is beautiful. The music is written by uh, David Andrew Wilson, who works with Andrew Lloyd Webber. He's one of his assistants. So it has that kind of classical kind of feel to the mm -hmm. piece as well, which is quite nice because you don't really get that much anymore in musicals. Normally they kind of go the poppy American route. So to kind of go back to that era and bring back that classical sound is really nice. Sincerely, Mr. Toad is on at the Queen Dome at the Pleasance until the 26th of August. Now, you've had, I think, about five or six days of this already, haven't yep. you? How have the audiences been? Yeah, great. Really, really great. Uh, it was good to kind of get... We've had younger and older audiences in, uh, but really, so far, we've had more of an older audience, I mm -hmm. think, because they maybe know about the right of Kenneth Graham and stuff. But we've had a few younger people come in the last couple of days, and they've enjoyed it just as much. Mm -hmm. So it kind of suits every age, really. Uh, I know that we've had a few kids in. I think it's there's an age range, maybe mm -hmm. a, maybe about nine or ten, that would come, mm -hmm. in in terms of the emotional journey it goes through and stuff that happens in the production. Okay. Uh, but yeah, it's great, and we're getting really good feedback from it. Um, we, we mentioned some other shows as well before this goes back down to uh, back to London. Is there a website we can look at to get those? Yes, yeah, www.cellador.com. Ah, now that's Cellador, as in what you would do if you wanted to sell your door. <laughs> Cellador.com has the uh, has the dates of, of that Scottish tour, and then you back down to London. And the back down to London, Grand. And weeks. Cellador's actually the company that produced this in the Fringe as well. Okay. Uh, really good company to work for, and uh, yeah, they've come up with some great ideas for it. Fantastic to see you, Keith, as ever. Don't leave it so long next time. No, try not. What has it been? Three years? It's been about three years, I think. Yeah, yeah. that's way too long. a long time. Let's get that sorted out. Yeah, definitely. All right. Cheers, Keith. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Bye. The greatest hit.